library quarantine buddy. Yes, this is still the Colby House channel, just in case you're a bit confused about all the fitness content lately. But this is another one of those videos, and this one's dedicated expressly to my favorite compound exercise, the deadlift. The reason that deadlifts are my go-to exercise is that they're really the king of mass building movements. They build the upper and lower body together like no other movement. But they are demanding. I have to eat the right macros, I have to get plenty of rest, do plenty of stretching, do plenty of warm-up exercises like these, these are rack pulls, and I have to add lots of supplements to my diet. As it turns out, I'm 50 years old, and I'm just now getting fanatical about fitness, so I need all the help I can get. Here's the supplement load I take on workout days. So the biggest tub is my 100% whey protein isolate. That's arguably the best quality protein out there. I then practically drown myself with water. I take collagen peptides daily. Uh, I'm trying this testosterone stimulator, but who knows if that even works. And then here's some BCAAs, which I sip during the workout. I do creatine monohydrate, which gives me some explosive strength. And then here's my pre-workout. It's actually David Lade's pre-workout called Euphoria, but we're going to get into that in another video. Like I mentioned, I am 50, but that doesn't stop me from whipping my butt into shape. And it certainly doesn't stop me from doing cardio. Today, I'm going to attempt the coveted 225 pound deadlift. And since all gyms are pretty much closed during the COVID-19 shutdown, I have to jog 45 minutes to my friend's home gym. And that's about four miles. It's a great fat burner, but I have to stretch for a good 15 minutes before I head out. And then once I'm there, I absolutely have to stretch again. So I just pick whatever stretches feel right, ones that stretch my posterior chain, mainly the back and the legs, since that's what gets hit during deadlifting. And at my age, I have to stretch or I'm just asking for injury. And luckily I've never been seriously injured, nor have I broken any bones, so I'm really fortunate to be able to do deadlifts and squats. So. After the stretching, it's pretty damned important to activate the muscles that'll be torn apart later, especially for deadlifts. So you'll see me start with some lunges, and then I'll do some weighted lunges, and then after that I move on to barbell rows without going too heavy. Uh, and then I'm also going to do some pull-ups, which are assistant, because I don't want to pre-exhaust my back before I even start the deadlifting. Okay, after the warm up, it's time to set up the deadlift station, which is kind of a workout in itself if you don't have extra tools to mount your weight. I don't have a wedge or a jack in this small gym, so I'm loading the plates naked. But here's my plan. I'll start with 135 pounds as an icebreaker and to activate my whole posterior chain, and then I'll jump all the way to 185 
and probably do three or four reps of that. And then from there, I'll do just one 205 pound rep. And then finally, I'll attempt my goal of 225 pounds, which will also be just one repetition. And the deadlifts are an advanced exercise, no doubt. So there's a lot of technical considerations to get right. Otherwise, it's a quick path to injury. And first, the center of gravity should be right above the heels. The feet should be just slightly inside the hands, and then the hands should grip the bar at shoulder length. And when I pull the bar off the ground, I look forward. I maintain a neutral spine, which is actually slightly arched. I push my chest up, and then I use my legs to raise the bar half of the way up. And then the second half is where I thrust my hips forward and use my back to stand erect. All right, now I've got the bar rigged with 185 pounds. You can count the load yourself fairly easily. There's that Olympic bar, which is 45 pounds, with a plate on each side, that's another 90, and then two of the small 25 pound plates for a total 185. I only do three reps at this weight, so as I don't exhaust myself on the way to 225. And also deadlifts as well as squats, they're most effective in the four to six rep range. As anyone's form, it deteriorates after about five reps. And I only did three, so I can transfer some of the progressive overload to the heavier sets coming up. Now I'm up to 205 pounds, and from this bird's eye view, you'll see my form deteriorating. The bar starts to yaw to my right. I wasn't even aware of the yaw at the time, but regardless, this short set prepped me pretty well for what's coming up next, which is my 225 pound go. And we call this a PR, or personal record. PRs are usually measured at one repetition, but you can record any type of PR you want, really. And a one rep PR on the deadlift isn't really useful other than maybe for bragging rights or maybe to demonstrate maximum strength. I don't know. A five rep personal record on the deadlift, that's a much better gauge of strength and endurance. So for the 225 pound deadlift attempt, I need these wrist straps and they assist me with my clamping strength. It's also 92 degrees in here, and my sweat is literally splashing everywhere and making everything slick. But anyway, here we go. And you can tell I was pretty happy there. So. One thing that happened, that even though I was successful, the bar did yaw to my right again. And I've never noticed that before because I've never had a bird's eye view from this angle. So I'm going to have to correct that. Oh, and before we close, I just wanted to mention a word about my nutrition, especially after a workout. I tend to go for a lot of protein, at least 100 grams after a deadlift session. So it's usually steak and whey protein isolate, um, maybe chicken if I'm out of steak. Um, and as far as my macros go, my protein intake per day is generally like one gram per pound of body weight. So for me right now, that's one... 158 grams of protein. It's just a general rule. That's all for now, but I'll definitely be sharing my ongoing journey with you as I gain strength with all these compound exercises. I'll also continue all my gaming content pretty soon, and I've also got a surprise announcement to make about my channel in just a few weeks, so subscribe if you aren't already and leave a comment below. Happy lifting, happy gaming, happy whatever you're doing, and we'll see you again very soon on a screen in your room. Thanks for watching.